right, guys, so you should all have your gold sheet in front of you, which has notes and practice on limiting and excess reactants. So normally in the past, you've been given one number in the problem, and that's the number that you start with. Now, if you look at the example, in the following reaction, 5.35 grams of copper and 4.87 grams of iron 2 nitrate react, now you're given two numbers. Your job first is to figure out which one of those is going to run out first. Whichever one runs out first is your limiting reactant, and that's going to limit the amount of product that you get. So for part A, to determine the limiting reactant, you're going to do two calculations. Those two calculations will give you both answers that you want. It'll give you the limiting reactant, and it'll also tell you how much product can be produced. So it'll also give you your theoretical yield. All right, so step one in your notes says, starting with grams of Cu given, calculate the amount of iron produced. So you want to know how many grams of iron will be produced if 5.35 grams of copper reacted. Okay, so that's one of the numbers that's given in the problem. So you're just going to do the same thing that you've been doing. You're going to go from grams of A to grams of B. The unit here is going to be grams of copper. So you look on the periodic table to find the molar mass of copper, which is 63.55 grams, and that's in one mole. Make sure you guys are writing this down. Okay, grams cancels out. This is one mole of copper. So moles of copper has to go down here. This is going to be our mole ratio. So you look in the balanced equation. We're comparing moles of copper to moles of iron because we want to know how much we can get or how much we can produce. So for every two moles of copper, we will produce one mole of iron. We want to know grams of copper, or sorry, grams of iron. So we have one more step in one mole of iron. If we look on the periodic table, we know that's 55.85 grams of iron. So again, you multiply everything across the top, you divide by everything along the bottom, and as an answer, you should get 2.35 grams of iron produced. Okay, so that's one of them. Now you would do step two, starting with grams of FeNO3 2 given, calculate the amount of iron produced. So again, you're going to figure out how many grams of iron would we get if I started with 4.87 grams of FeNO3 2, which is the other number that the problem gives us. So that's where we're getting those initial values. So again, you put your molar mass down here. Molar mass of FeNO32 is 179.85. And that's in one mole. So grams cancels out. Your next step moles of FeNO32 goes on the bottom. Now you look at your mole ratio again, but now you are comparing the other reactant. Now you're comparing FeNO32 to Fe. So for every one mole of FeNO32, you're going to get one mole of iron. And then again, you would change moles of iron to grams. So multiply across the top, divide by the bottom, and you should get 1.51 grams of iron. Okay, so those are the two calculations. To find your limiting reactant, well, let's just start with a bullet point. It says the lowest mass of iron produced, so out of your values, 2.35 and 1.51, 1.51 is the smaller number. That's your theoretical yield. That's the maximum amount of product that can be produced. If that's your theoretical yield, 
whatever chemical you started with, which, sorry, the chemical is the iron um, to nitrate, that would be your limiting reactant. So from these calculations, whichever value gives us the smallest amount of product, whatever chemical you started that equation with is going to be, that's going to run out first. So iron nitrate is going to run out first which is only going to give us 1.51 grams of iron. So your limiting reactant, again, in the line is FeNO32, and your theoretical yield would be 1.51 grams. So that's how you do the first step. You just start with both numbers in the problem, and you're going from grams of A, whatever um, chemical it lists in the problem, and you're going to grams of B, which would be one of your products. Don't forget, when you're looking for a limiting reactant, you're only looking at the reactants. You're trying to figure out which one of these chemicals is going to run out first. All right. Now, let's do part B. How many grams of the excess reactant remain? So if we know that this is my limiting reactant, I know that's going to run out first, which means copper is going to be in excess. We're going to have extra copper. So to find out how much extra copper we have, um, step one says start with the mass of the limiting reactant, and that was given in the problem. So from the problem, the limiting reactant was FeNO32. We were given 4.87 grams of Fe. NO32. So that's the step one. We're starting with the mass of the limiting reactant. We're calculating the mass of the other reactant. So now we want to know how many grams of copper do I need? Okay, we know we have 5.35 grams. That was given in the problem. We have to figure out how much we need for a complete reaction. So again, all you're doing is going from grams of A to grams of B. So the molar mass of FeNO32 goes here, and that again was 179.85 in one mole. Okay, so now again, mole ratio. Now we're comparing um, FeNO32. We're comparing this, our limiting reactant to our other reactant to figure out how much excess we're going to have. So for every one mole of FeNO32, we need two moles of copper. Okay, now we're going to go from moles of copper to grams of copper, and that we just look on the periodic table. Okay, again, multiply across the top, divide by the bottom. This problem is telling us that if we reacted all of our iron 2 nitrate, which we did because that was the limiting reactant, we need 3.44 grams of copper for a complete reaction. Okay, we need 3.44. The problem tells us that we have 5.35 grams of copper. So you subtract how much you have from how much you need, and that'll give you how much excess you have. So when you subtract those, and keep in mind you want to keep the two decimal places, so you'll get 1.91, sorry, I had my key wrong initially. I was just making sure that that is correct. Is that we have 1.91 grams of excess reactant. So that's how much extra copper we have. So in your homework, you will be given problems exactly like this. Use this as a guide to help you through the homework. Um, there is a partial key online. This podcast will also be online, so I'll put it in two different formats. I'll put it in um, Windows Media Player and um, in an iPad version if you have um, an iPod or Apple products. So 
Um, that way you can watch it as many times as you need as kind of a, a quick review. So hopefully that makes sense. Good luck with your homework. We'll see you guys on Wednesday.